So today I thought I'd do a little bit of an off project with you guys. This is me building a dirt cheap 2.1 setup for my computer. So as you can see here in my computer, don't look at my desktop though, it's really messy, but I've got 2.0 speakers here. These were Onco speakers that I picked up for about $20 for the pair of them. This was at some used parts place. Uh, now they're being powered by the X7. And now the thing about the X7 with the combo, the X7 speakers, the EMUs, well, they were really good, but they were just a 2.0 setup. They weren't a 2.1 setup. And I kind of wanted a bit of bass. And so this is gonna bring me to my next little friend. I went down to my favorite used parts place. I saw this, I was like, wow, okay, it's, um, it looks okay. It's a sub and it's pretty much an amplifier in one. Kind of like, like most 2.1 speakers are set up. So this was only $15 and it's got 35 watts output at six ohms. So that's gonna be perfect for the Onkyo Onkyo speakers. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna unbox this thing and hook it up and see if we can make a decent 2.1 system for only $35. As we can see here, it kind of looks brand new, which was surprising. I mean, <laughs> I paid only $15 for it. Uh, it's not the best looking thing. I mean, the color scheme is really weird. We've got like oak wood, silver and black, but uh, I mean, the controller looks a little bit faded, but I am guess that's just been sitting in the box for a long time. So we're gonna boot it up, plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so I've plugged everything in and now the rear of the audio output, I'm gonna use a headphone splitter. And now what this will allow me to do is get two connections out of one. And the good thing is, is that when I'm using my headphones, I just turn my 2.1 system off and vice versa. If I'm using the 2.1 system, then I can just turn the volume straight all the way down on the headphone receiver there. That's this little thing here. So we've got some trouble in paradise here. The Onkyo speakers, when I checked them, they're actually four ohm speakers. And now this is a bit of a problem because generally with amplifiers, you don't want to run under the Pacific ohm. So for instance, this 2.1 system I've got here is rated at six ohms output. And so generally you can go the other way, like you can go higher impedance is fine, but lower impedance is generally a big no-no. This is from memory. Uh, however, that's not a problem. We've got some $3 Sony junk speakers here, which are rated at 8 ohms. So I'm going to wire these up and see if we can then get this thing working properly. Brothers, the moment you have all been waiting for, I'm going to turn on the... I don't even know what to call this thing. I might call it the Majesta, because it's like magic, hopefully. Anyway, let's turn it on. So we've plugged it all in. It's all good to go. And I think it's working. Like, I hear the speakers pop. And I'll try this remote, see if the, yeah. there we go. The remote works as well. I'll just see, yep, turns off. Oh, wow, cool. So it's got memory as well. So it remembers that I put it on auxiliary as well. So let's turn on some beats and see how, honestly though, <laughs> see how this $20 combo will go because I am coupling it with the Sony speakers, which were a lot cheaper than the Onkyos. So technically it is a $20 2.1 system. So anyway, moment of truth. How do these, how does it sound? I'm just gonna put on a track now. I'll just use that song I used in my 6600K benchmarks because uh, it's on my desktop and you know, YouTube won't take it down for copyright. So let's just turn that on and see how hard this thing goes. Okay, so it's working. Um, you guys can be the judge with me. So here's my standard tone of my voice. This is how I always talk. Okay, drop the microphone. That happens when you're vlogging. Uh, okay, so I dropped the mic, sorry. So we've got it working now and it is on 35, the volume. So let's crack this baby up. And this is like, this is my normal voice. So this is how I speak in all my reviews and stuff, so. <laughs> whoa 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 <laughs> damn 
This thing can go so hard! Like, I was only up to 60, and the floor was starting to shake. So I got floor shaking bass, and the Sony's sound wicked! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's tie this up and uh, do some cable management quickly. Clean this baby up and we'll go to a conclusion. So after a bit of cable management and vacuum cleaning, I was then set to enjoy my now $20 2.1 sound system. And I gotta tell you guys straight up, for the money, this thing is ridiculously good and I can highly recommend this route. Unlike my $40 PC, which kind of I had a lot of trouble with, this thing, on the other hand, I can highly recommend. I was so surprised by how good the bass and the mids were on a cheap system like this. And one thing to keep in mind is if you're building a budget system, you should always try to overpower your speakers. So generally, if you're underpowering your speakers, they sound terrible. I don't know how many times people have messaged me saying, uh, Brian, why don't my high impedance, expensive, hard to drive headphones sound good? Uh, what are you powering them from? Uh, my onboard audio. There you go. So in this case, I think they're 20 watt speakers and they're getting fed 35 amps of power from the amp, which makes them sound ridiculously good. I was surprised. I didn't think $3 speakers could sound that good. Now keep in mind, I did waste $20 on the Onkyo speakers because I thought, hey, they're more expensive, they're gonna sound better. But the Sony's, the $3 junk Sony speakers that I found and this $15 amp that I found together makes a great combo and I can highly recommend it to someone on a budget, even to someone who wants some good sound and good value for money sound, like wow. Anyway, so guys, you love to see these little vlogs that I do and this is one that is just an absolute epic win and I even tidied up my mouse pad while I was at it so <laughs> I've uh, managed to save another few years off buying another mouse pad. So I don't know. I don't know why I enjoy these things, but I just do. So anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will be testing that old motherboard in the $40 build that didn't work. I'll retest that for you guys and let you know if it works. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hit that like button and stay subscribed because there's more tech news, reviews, and juicy content coming to you guys. Bye.